of your life has taken a look of your hands. Well, you don't have to look right now, but that's my question here to bring up because hands express and symbolize a lot of appreciation. In our gospel today, God gives, gives, some, gives, gives us a message that we have to take opportunity of all things to grab that appreciation. I know appreciation can be easily done when things are big or significant. But there are things in our life, whether within or in the outside, whether unnoticeable or something that we rarely take a look. In today's gospel, God is giving us an opportunity to take a spiritual attitude of being appreciated because appreciation brings things to life or reveals us something more that we know. And to appreciate things, it opens up to a new, greater relationship of ourselves. Like in the Gospel today, John was so appreciative of the greatness of Jesus. And Jesus, in turn, was so appreciative of John's word. And so is the Father, who is well pleased with his son. Last uh, September, we went home to the Philippines. Uh, well, we took advantage of the vacation. We, we treated ourselves. You know, we had a massage, we massage, had a foot spa and everything. We call it like uh, uh, get uh, really uh, uh, pampered. So that was really good. In fact, when we got home, the therapeutic and sweetness of that hand massage, you know, the hot oil and everything, really made me take a closer look at my hands. And looking at my hands, I've never done that in my life. It reveals a lot of things about my personal history. You know, the scratches I, when I almost cut my hands when I was a butcher at the time. My seven stitches here, you know, the calluses, there are a lot of things here. And I started to appreciate my hands that I didn't really realize after I have this, like maybe more than 50 years now. This my first time to do that, and I appreciate my hands. And and I'm so glad I treated that with, with half oil and massage and everything. But I'm sure your hands will have also a lot of stories about yourself. It will reveal, probably, it will reveal yourself as the hands of God. The hands that feed, the hands that reach out to touch, the hands that really work to your loved ones. And you will hear from the heart, like the voice of our Father, to whom he is well pleased because of the work we do. And today we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. To celebrate means to appreciate. In a few moments, we'll go back to our life. We will go back to the same question to ourselves, how do we appreciate our practice?